Alors, bonjour Yetov et bienvenue au dernier corps de, de, de module 6. Je vais continuer en anglais maintenant. Right guys, so welcome to the, what is literally the end of the year 12 A-level course. So, I know Corona is a problem, but at least we finished the course and everything you needed to do for this year. So, um, as we're finishing, what we would be moving on to is doing some revision for the year 12 exam. We will still do that over YouTube. Going through sector bill, we will do all the revision for sector bill and I need an essay a week. We'll carry that on on Friday's lesson, guys. And then finally, we would, if we were in school, be preparing you for the speaking exam. We'll park that for the moment, but the speaking exam will come up. So that is what we're going to do. We need to finish les festivals et les traditions. And today is going to be an assessment for this. So if you don't think you're ready for this assessment, that's fine. You can pause this video. You can come back to it. You can go and do some revision now. You could revise. You could go and memorize. Look at some of the key vocabulary. You could go through your um, homework slash flip learning pack on module six and just revise some key things to make sure you're back up to speed. It's completely down to you. That's the one good thing about Corona is it will develop and it will teach you ways to be more independent and to practice so you can get more out of these lessons. So down to you. Go away and practice if you want. If you think you're ready, carry on with this video and I'll introduce what we're going to do today. Hello, mes petits, donc vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. Il ne faut pas copier le date et le titre, tu, tu peux si tu veux, mais il faut faire le contrôle de post-it. Alors donc, well, you're always really good at this, live, you're always rubbish. Alors donc, s'il vous plaît, comment dit-on les six choses ici? Essayez d'écrire le français pour moi. All right, guys, as you're doing that, let me tell you about your homework. So, this is what you need to be doing for me in between now and Friday's lesson where there'll be another YouTube video. So, first off, You've got your set deal revision booklet. You've got to do homework one for me. Friday's lesson will be revising set de bill and it'll be looking at Jean Maurice. So you have to do all that reading, that revision booklet I gave you. I gave you a paper copy of that booklet before you left. If you don't have one, um, you need to email me. Second, remember we're doing an essay a week. I'll mark those of you on Monday and give them back to you uh, today. Make sure you're ready with your essay a week. It will really help you. You'll get some feedback. If we can do an essay a week in all this time, that'll be like like nine, ten extra essays marked and you need that time to think about it. Don't forget to do your red pen when I write back to you and give you all the things you need to do. You've got a lot more time on your hands now. Maybe you can redraft your essay. Maybe you can perfect it. Go for that. This time will really matter. And then number four, look out in the post because I'm going to post you something this week. You might need to disinfect it before you open it, maybe, but I will post you. I've bought you all some grammar books. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to send you some work to, for you to get on with. I'll email it as well, but I'll send you a paper copy because it's easier just to boost your revision. Because you're 12, you are going to be the year group that's the most affected by the coronavirus closure. GCC will be all right. You've done the GCC. It's a lot of learning, but you can definitely catch up and get it. The French isn't that advanced. Year 13, year 13 are fine, mate. They've got their exams all over. It's down to you. We don't want you to have a worse exam grade in, in year 13 because of this time off and that's why we're working so hard on these lessons up on YouTube and that's why I'm going to send you some more revision. It's good for you. This is a great time to practice your French. I'm practicing mine. I'm reading a chapter of my book in French every day and on Netflix I'm just watching everything in French when Lauren's not around. It's the best time to practice and, and perfect and set yourself a French target guys. This is the time to really get good so when you come back to school you'll be even better than if it was a normal school day. Think of that. So that's what it's all about guys let's go for our post night challenge and talk about today alors mes petits donc les verbes pour aujourd'hui comment dit-on to welcome accueillir voilà c'est difficile à dire et à écrire to have as a goal avoir pas vu you're going to see that today to unwind we can say relaxer or you can say se dérouler literally to unroll oneself to remind oneself on a ce souvenir. When you go on holiday and buy a souvenir, it's something to remind you of where you've gone. It comes from the French verb souvenir to remember. You could also have se rappeler to recall oneself, to call it to oneself. To protect, on a protégé ou garder. C'est les deux verbes. Protéger, j'accepte. Garder, c'est un autre moyen pour dire les mêmes choses. Et finalement, to safeguard. Sauvegarder, voilà, to safeguard it, same thing in English as in French. These verbs are going to come up today, and what we're going to do today, which you'll see from the attachment that you've got, is we're going to do 
the assessment for module six. Now, what I've done is I've done it because you've got a lot of time. I've done it for the same time as the real year 12 and year 13 exams. So it's 45 minutes for the reading, 45 minutes for the listening, a 20 minute ish translation. So obviously this is more than one lesson. This is your Monday lesson and your Friday lesson for topic. So don't worry if it takes you too long. You don't have to do it in one sitting either. It's down to you, but you do have to do it against the clock to give yourself that time. So organize your time how you want. We're going to go straight onto the assessment today. Donc, I'm not going to do a start today, guys, because obviously you've got this assessment and it is huge. You should know how this works. I've attached all the listening files. I recommend you spend 45 minutes on the listening challenge. Go through each activity and you know what to do for the listening and the reading. You know our key survival strategies. You did them so well at GCC. So number one, get the most out of the question paper. Help, Akila. Get the most out of the question paper. Make sure you look at those questions. Make sure you translate them. Make sure you spend that quality time looking at them, particularly before the listening so you know what to do. Work out what the question's asking you. So many times A-level students will answer the wrong thing. You must know what those questions mean. Make sure you work it out. With your listening files, you're in charge, guys. Pause, reflect, answer, check. Don't listen to it bit by bit by bit. Make sure you're ready. Make sure you're going back and checking your answers. You're in control. Remember, they're going to throw some synonyms and antonyms and different things at you. See if you can work it out. And then lastly, and most importantly, keep it simple. You just need a phrase to get the mark. Don't just copy from the text. Just give me one key phrase to do well. So these are the timings. You need to run it how you see fit, guys. What I do is I do 45 minutes, have a little break, uh, then come back and do the reading, have a little break, then do the translation, then restart this video because on the next slides, I'm going to talk through it all. So I'm going to show you the transcript for the listening and we'll go through the answers and the same with the reading. Do not just watch the video and write the answers in as if you ever would do this properly. Give yourself a mark. I want you to report back to me via email about what you've got. OK, extra challenge. There is, if you're a bit bored, uh, there is an extra translation if you want. It doesn't affect your exam score, but it's a lot of fun to do. So have a little look at that. All right. You need to pause me now. You need to open your exam paper, put a timer on your phone of 45 minutes and do it properly and see how much you can get through in the allotted time. See what you can do. If you want to spend longer than 45 minutes, I'll allow that because this is you and your study and how you run it. This, These questions, particularly the listenings, are a bit longer than the A-level. So don't worry, you'll have plenty of time and plenty of practice before then. All right, pause me now. The answers are on the next slide. Good luck. Bon courage, hein, mes petits. Alors, donc, au revoir. Alors, right, uh, Yetov, I know that was really tough. I've just listened to this myself and, and this whole assessment is really pushing you now this is a good thing for you it's much better for you to be pushed and find a, an assessment really difficult than for you to find it easy and get 100 percent. you might disagree with me but we know what we're doing yeah so listen up remember anything over 60 percent would be a b at a level so keep that in mind four marks out of ten you can easily drop and still come away with a b which for this stage in your course would be exceptional so let's get going guys ce que je veux que tu fasses hein? Il faut penser moi, d'accord, et, et quand tu as pensé le, le vidéo, euh, il faut lire la transcription ici. Lisez la transcription et vérifiez les réponses que vous avez fait ici. Après, vous avez vérifié les réponses, recommencez les vidéos et je vais faire, euh, je, je vais vous donner les, les bonnes réponses. Alors, mettez-moi ce pause, bon courage Hello, my petit. Right, guys, I hope you've had a little look and um, you've checked your work. Let's go for answers. I'm going to talk you through it. Donc, le premier, le club of highlighted to try and help you out. Lena a aidé son père au marché car il y a quatre réponses. She didn't have anything else to do. There were loads of visitors. There was loads of fish to sell. Or she wanted to earn a bit of pocket money. What does Lena say? Alors, mon père est pêcheur. My dad's a fisherman. Love that word. Et je l'ai aidé à vendre ses poissons au marché car pendant le festival, Il y a beaucoup de touristes. There you go, there's your synonym. La réponse, c'est Il y a beaucoup de visiteurs. Regardez, les visiteurs sont les touristes. Well done, if you got that. Numéro 2. Albin a participé à une compétition de danse, de musique, de sport ou de chant. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'il a dit Cette année, j'ai tenté. So, tenté is a synonym of essayer. Essayer is to try. 
tenté to attempt. So I attempted to win la compétition sportive de voile. Okay, there's a clue and there's a clue. Voile is sailing, which is une compétition de sport. Voilà, excellent if you got that, guys. Alors non, Albin a rencontré des difficultés sur mer car. Now this is where it's really tough. Just because the answers, the la météo is the weather, wasn't very calm. Uh, he failed on the rocks, so he banged into the rocks. His boat capsized. Look at that for vocabulary like that. I don't know how I know that is capsized, but I do. I don't think I've ever been on a boat in France, weather, apart from like Alton Towers. But there you go. So his boat capsized. Or D, il n'avait pas l'habitude d'être seul à manoeuvrer. He wasn't used to being alone when he was maneuvering his boat. All right, let's have a look. Le vent était très fort ce jour-là. Alors, c'était difficile de manoeuvrer le bateau. All right, this is what they've done. Try to take, trick you with two. You've got this. It was difficult to maneuver the boat. But the answer says he wasn't used to being alone to maneuver the boat. Does it say anything about being alone? No. Why was the boat difficult to maneuver? Parce que le vent était très fort. So it's because la météo n'était pas très clément. Voilà. Now you probably didn't know what clément meant, but you can work it out. Yeah, when you're talking about sailing and the weather, it can only be one of two things. All right. Et finalement, Ellie a pu. Do you know what verb this comes from? Pu is the past participle of what? Well done. Pu voir, yeah? So Ellie has had to or, or has been able to. Um, J'aurais bien aimé participer à un corps de langue breton. Okay, so here's, got, this has got to be a trap. This says, I would have really liked to participate in a lesson on like Breton language. So France has got loads of regional languages that still sort of exist. It's not like as strong as like Spain, Catalan and Basque, but France still does have these. But she says, mais il y avait trop de monde, but there was too many people. So she was able to, okay, it's not going to be learn how to say hello in Breton because she couldn't do that. Right, okay, so à la place, so instead of that, J'ai visité des stands d'artisans traditionnels comme le broderie et le dente. So, she was able, D, to observe the artists doing, I think that's embroidering, I'm not very sure, and that just shows you the mad vocabulary. So, that's what you should have, guys. B, C, A, D. Give yourself a mark out of four for that. And when you're ready, move on to the next slide. Alors, donc, ceci, c'est la transcription pour activité 2. Le même chose qu'avant, s'il vous plaît. Donc, um, j'ai essayé de vous aider. On souligne les, 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 euh, les parties du texte important. Donc, mettez-moi sur pause pour deux minutes. Euh, lisez la transcription et euh, vérifiez si les réponses que vous avez faites sont correctes ou pas. Allez. Alors, right guys, you should have had your two minutes reading time. Have you checked your answers? Let's go through it all. Let's see what you've got. Donc, le premier. Combien d'heures d'Okitan en élève de quatrième peut-il avoir? So, What's tough about this is this word here. So, we just talked about regional languages before. This is another one. Yeah, this is one of them um, that's still going. So, hopefully you made, like, you were able to work it out. You don't need to know it's a language, but you needed to know it's a school subject. So, how many hours can they have? Une heure par semaine en sixième et de trois heures à partir de la quatrième. So, this is the difference as well. What is CZM and what is Catrium? We've looked at them for GCC. They're class names, yes. Yeah? So it's like year 10, year 11. It's the same thing here. So in Catrium, how many hours can you have? Trois heures. <laughs> Trois heures. Voilà. Trois heures par semaine. That is your answer. If you put une heure, that's the wrong year group, guys. And then, donner deux limites géographiques entre lesquelles on parle l'Occitan. So this is our language. What are the two geographical limits? This is here. Elle est parlée. De Bordeaux et Nice, des Pyrénées au Massif Central. Now, this is where if you've not been to France, I know, like, I don't think you have a kilo of you. If you've not been to France, you won't know these places as well. So, two geographical limits. The first one's going to be Bordeaux to Nice. So, Bordeaux is on the west coast, and Nice is right in the south. You know this from Sat de Ville. Des Pyrénées au Massif Central. So, the Pyrénées, there's a mountain range in between Spain and France, and the Massif Central. Is like the middle of France um, when you get to the Alps. So you just needed to put them down. Bordeaux and Nice, Pyrénées, Massif Central. Alors, quel est l'argument de ceux qui critiquent le site? So, what is the argument of those? This word here means those or them. 
those who critic l'Occitan. So, pour certains, so here we go, um, l'Occitan serait une langue morte et son apprentissage restera inutile. So, that's what you need. It's a dead language, c'est une langue morte, or c'est inutile, it's useless. Anything like that, you'll get the mark. Et finalement, donner un exemple montrant la présence de l'Occitan dans la France actuelle. Now, this is your trap here. This is a faux ami. What does it mean? It means currently or presently. So give an example. This comes from Montreux to show. Give an example showing the presence of this language in current or today's French. And here it is. Transparer dans le français. On le retrouve. And you can have any of these. Dans certaines expressions. Nommer les jeunes. Nommer les yeux. Dans les accents du sud. Voilà. Any of those will get you a mark. Excellent effort on this. This is a nasty one. Hopefully you picked up a few tips from this one. Alors, et on continue. Right, so this is what you'll get in the A level. This is the AS version. You, this will be a six marker for each of these. It's just four marks here. This is passage A. Have a little look. And you know what to do. Mettez-moi ce pause. Prenez deux minutes et lisez la transcription. Et si tu veux changer les réponses, vous pouvez un. Donc, mettez-moi ce pause pour deux minutes. Courage, on y va. Alors, mes petits, let's go for answers. Voilà, ok, so you can see. This first bit serves absolutely no purpose whatsoever. So I'm sure you'd have listened to this for ages. Like, being like, what's the answer to number one? It's not in there. All the answers come here. And look how thick and fast they come. Question one, or A, B, C, and then D. They're literally back to back. So did you get it? No. Combien de temps dure le marché? Those people don't know this word. Dure. is to last. A duration. How long? Like the duration of the flight means all through the flight. Dure is to last. So, how long does the Christmas market last? EDC. Durant les cinq semaines de célébration. Donc, la réponse, cinq semaines. Alors, uh, où les chalets se trouvent-ils? So, hopefully you know the word chalet. Here it means like those little shop stalls like you get in Christmas markets. Where do the chalets find themselves? So where are they situated? Près de 300 chalets sont aménagés au tour de la cathédrale et dans le centre-ville. Voilà, si you need au tour de la cathédrale et dans le centre-ville. Au tour means around. A tour is a tower. So au tour means like all around the tower. So around the cathedral and the town center. Uh, numéro C, pardon, let's say. Donnez un exemple de ce que l'on peut acheter dans les chalets, voilà, donc il propose des produits locaux, de la nourriture et des décorations traditionnelles de Noël, that's quite nice, any of those will get you the mark, any of those two things, et quelle est la principale attraction du marché, you had to get this, la principale attraction, here it is, une des principales attractions est le magnifique sapin de Noël, now even if you don't know what a sapin de Noël is, you can sort of work it out, you can still get it as the answer, it's 30 meters tall and it's a something of Christmas. It's got to be le sapin de Noël, which is a Christmas tree. There you go. Full marks for that. All right. We're almost there for the listening. Have a little look at this. Donc, ceci, c'est partie B. Um, je vous donne deux minutes. Mettez-moi ce pause. Lisez la transcription encore fois et um, vérifiez les réponses que vous avez écrites. Courage. All right, guys. Same thing again. Let's have a little look at what we've highlighted and what you need to do. So, remember... Everything's in English. If you answer in French, you're an idiot and you lose all your marks. So let's have a little look. Summarize the speaker's views regarding the Christmas market and Christmas in general. So these are a bit more tough, like, but this is what you should have. I come every year um, and every time it's marvelous. Je peux retrouver les odeurs de mon enfance, le pain d'épicé et le vin chaud. C'est un véritable voyage hors du temps. What? So you can have two things. This is the first thing you can have. What's the views? It's great. So that would get you the mark. Perfect. And then you can also have this. I can revisit the smells of my childhood. Bread and spice, hot wine. It's a true voyage through time. So she feels nostalgic. So you can have any of these. She goes every year. She finds it great. And then for the second bit. Yeah, here we go. Christmas in general. For me, Christmas has always been a moment, a magical moment. What I prefer are the lights. So you can have any of these. It reminds me of a childhood. Christmas is a magical moment and she likes the light. You need any two out of all five of these. Any two will get you them all. All right, down here. Summarize the second speaker's experience of the Christmas markets. She says, 
Je suis ravi de ma visite. I'm like ravishly happy with my visit. J'ai pu acheter des décorations artisanales en bois pour mon sapin et des gâteaux secs que je vais offrir à ma soeur. So you got this again. J'ai pu. Look at that twice in a row. What does it mean? What's the past participle of? C'est pu voir. So I've been able to buy wooden artisanal art and arty decorations for my uh, Christmas tree and dried cake that I'm going to give to my sister. Mm, sounds delicious. Her next planned activity, maintenant je vais quitter des chants de Noël dans la cathédrale. Des chants de Noël. Chanter is to sing. So, can I have any of these? She's really pleased with the visit. She bought decorations and dried up old biscuits and she's going to listen to some Christmas carols. Any of that will get you the mark today. Alors, right guys, so read an exam i'd have done this in the second one you might be listening to this friday morning and listen to the second half or you might want to get this done before friday to give yourself more time on site the bill either way is fine with me pause me now if you haven't done the reading exam because i'm going to go through the answers now alors mes petits donc le premier activité pour l'examen de lecteur c'était la laïcité et vous avez un texte le texte ça va c'est pas le mal c'est les questions s'ils sont difficiles alors je vais vous aider et voilà, what I've done is, j'ai souligné uh, the parts of the text that I think are important for each answer. Why don't you just put me on pause and have a little look at what I've underlined and just check your answer to see if you can change anything. Allez. Okay, so like every good student, I'm going to go through the questions first before really getting into the text. And there's some nasty vocabulary on this that I'm sure has caught you all out. So have a little look. What is the particular particular peculiarity in France. Now, I don't know how to say that word in English, but what is the particular thing that French people do that doesn't exist elsewhere, which is this bit here. There we go. So next one, what encourages laïcité according to Samuel? So you need to find Samuel. What did he say encourages? Um, why is Marie against the principle of laïcité? There we go. Uh, what do French people have the right to do? E, what can they not, what can French students not do? So even the word order, they can make that easier for you. They've made it harder. Um, F, why does Samuel defend laïcité? There we go. And then G, what is Nadia's opinion? That's a nice one. I'll go for the answer there. So this is what you should have, guys. La particularité en France. La France est un pays laïque. Il n'existe pas de religion d'État. So that's all you need. Say like for two mark, for one mark. And then there's no state religion. So in Britain, we do like Christian ministers or whatever they're called sit in like the House of Lords. They don't have that in France. The two are separate. What does laïcité encourage? According to Samuel, he says, ça encourage l'intégration. Integration, this idea that we're all the same, therefore you can't show any differences. Mm, does it work? New RFC. Pourquoi Marie est-elle contre le principe de laïcité? C'est parce qu'elle pense qu'on devrait pouvoir porter des signes religieux. So anything about porter des signes religieux, we'll get you the mark there today, guys. Quand le doit de faire les Français? What the French people have the right to do? C'est des, ils ont le droit de pratiquer la religion de leur choix. So laïcité doesn't mean any limits to going to church or mosque or synagogue. It's just where you show your religious beliefs. Eux, que ne peuvent pas faire les élèves français? What can French students not do? Ils ne peuvent pas porter les signes à les yeux. If you've got like les hijab or les croix, anything like that, for an example, give yourself the mark. F, pourquoi Samuel défendit la laïcité? Parce qu'il pense que la laïcité a construit l'identité française. He thinks laïcité has built French identity and everyone's got a French system, no matter what their background. Et finalement, j'ai, quelle est l'opinion de Nadia? Elle pense que peut, la laïcité peut opprimer certains. It can oppress certain people. It's a bad thing. Anything like that, give yourself the tick. Alors mes petits, right guys, this is an example of one of those texts that you can get in a reading exam. You think, what the hell is this about? <laughs> like, why are we learning about this? And, and this is what A-levels like. I'm afraid it's not like GCC where we give you the vocabulary and we say this will come up. It's, it, it can be anything. It can be something so left field like this religious festival that I have never heard of in my life. Um, so we're going to go through it. And, and it is tough. But the test at A-level is using your skill and working out the unknown. And, and that's what this is all about. So hopefully it's all the questions. I'm going to go through them now and I'm going to give you the answers. So this is tricky. Peu de français. Which means few French people. So use four options. Few French people celebrate this festival. Few French people know the origins of it. Few French peoples have a nice time with it. Or few French people carry the name Jean 
Well, that's not true because loads of French people are called Jean. Right, we're down to three. So here it is. And look how tricky they are. Les Français sont nombreux. So a, a numerous amount of French people don't know what they're celebrating during this day. Donc la réponse, c'est B. Do you see how they've done that? They've flipped it. Les Français sont nombreux à ne pas savoir. Cheeky, B is your answer. All right, Zachary A. Three, uh, four different possibilities. A prophet of Jesus. A young priest punished by the angel Gabriel or named, uh, nicknamed Jean le Baptiste. All right, we know Jean le Baptiste is, hopefully. All right, so let's have a little look. Um, la fête de l'origine chrétienne, il est expliqué dans la Bible avec l'ange Gabriel descendu sur terre pour annoncer à Zacharie, here he is, un prêtre assez âgé. So he is a priest, but assez âgé means quite old. That one's got to go. Um, la grossesse prochaine de sa femme souffrant de stérilité. So the pregnancy, you call this like pregnancy, this la grossesse, the, the coming fatness of his wife, fat because she's pregnant, who was suffering from sterility. So his formerly sterile wife is now going to get pregnant by this old priest. Le viard, the old man, refusé de croire l'ange et perdit automatiquement l'usage de la parole pour son incrédulité. So, Zachary is suffering punished by the angel Gabriel. So, he doesn't believe him, and being as this is the Old Testament, rather than nice angels that we get these days, he automatically use it, loses his ability to speak for being rude and not believing in an angel. If an angel came down to me, I believe whatever they said. I mean, if you believe in angels, that's going to come with it. Alors, numéro 3. Tous les 24 juin, les Français. Look at this. They've not done it in order. You see, four comes before three. Tricky. So, every 24th of June, French people do what? Tous les 24 juin, les Français se réunissent autour d'un bûcher plus, qui mesure plus de 10 mètres. So, French people get together. They unite around like a log fire, which measures 10 meters, is burnt at the sunset. So, Every 24th, French people is C, party with their families. It's not this one because a chimney is a chimney and these fires are outside. It says it's 10 meters, bloody big. You don't want a 10 meter fire in your house up the chimney, do you? Uh, Brûler des cierges is a way of saying burn like um, incense or candles. Reste chez eux, stay at theirs. Well, not if there's a 10 meter fire, so it's got to be that one. See how tough this is. All right, back to four. Jean le Baptiste. So this goes back to this baby they have. Le petit garçon grandit et devient l'un des plus fidèles prophètes de Jésus Christ. So the little baby that they have becomes one of the most faithful prophets of Jesus. Uh, he becomes John the Baptist, I think. There we go. And then it is A. So he stayed at Jesus' side because he's one of Jesus' most loyal prophets. I know this is tough today. Don't worry if you're absolutely flopping on this. All right. Numéro 5. Les bûchers, which is like the logs, the burning logs. Three things. Stay intact during the festival. Burn difficultly or are difficult to burn. Cannot go above 10 meters in height or must be immense. So it says here. Le but, the goal, is to create a fire that can be seen kilometers away. Therefore, it's got to be D. They have to be massive to be seen kilometers away. Sounds nice and safe, don't it? So, Angel Gabriel is, and then it goes back up here. See that? It's cheeky. So, he is married to Elizabeth. What an angel. Uh, the dad of John the Baptist. I don't think you can have an angel being a dad, even in the Bible. That's weird. In reality, Jesus Christ. You'll go straight to hell if you think that. It is in person, biblique. Voilà. All right, guys. If you got two out of six there, I'd be very happy with your effort, to be honest. All right, let's bliss the last bit. So this bit is actually a bit easier, I think. So this is what you should have. Pourquoi Zachary perdit l'usage de la parole? Because he refused to believe the angel. You could also have pour son incrédulité for his like disobedience. That get you the mark as well. I'll accept both. Getting good at this. Uh, B. Quelle est la mission des groupes de musique pendant les feux de Saint-Jean? Is done in. Des groupes de musique viennent mettre une bonne ambiance. So the mission is to mettre une bonne ambiance. Voilà. Et finalement, quelle attitude? Adopt les Français autour de Boucher en flamme. So this is the key word here. What attitudes do French people have? Two marks. So there's two different points. And here we are. Certains Français essaient de sauter au-dessus de l'immense brasier pour provoquer le témérité. D'autres préfèrent garder leur distance. So those are the two extremes. Some want to jump over it. Others, oh, where's the accent's gone? Others prefer 
to keep a distance two marks for that guys really tough really nasty text list well done all right guys so the translation i'm just going to put the answers up mark it yourself remember if you're close give yourself the mark okay so here's what you should have this is the first bit pause me now mark your work if you're close give yourself the point split it all up so you get these marks guys and here's the second bit voila let's take the festival in Ouagadougou in Burkina Faso which offers expositions of artisan work products voila 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 put me on pause and mark your work guys and the last little bit really a really tough translation today well done if you got through it um give yourself a total and then email me that you're 12 phenomenal effort today i bet you're exhausted this is what it's all about i'll work out your percentages if you don't want to and i'll put them on um this was a tough exam today i think you've done well guys